Today we are honoring an American hero. And now the United States Navy will honor him by scattering his ashes in the waters of Pearl Harbor as he so richly deserves. Two, eight, five. My name is Master Chief James Taylor, United States Navy, retired. I'm best known for being the individual who coordinates the services for the scattering of ashes and interments here in Pearl Harbor. As years went by, I began, became more and more involved with the Pearl Harbor survivors themselves and all of the all of their burials. And I've been the only one that's done any of them, I'd say, for the last 10 years. I have been privileged to meet hundreds of Pearl Harbor survivors at the various ceremonies that are here, and also the ones that live here locally. And I just enjoy being with them. That's the first round of fire, December 7th. Uh, to me, they're heroes. To me, anybody and everybody that served in a military uniform are heroes. Well, we all know that World War II started here, and it has history that'll never be told. Every day I learn something new. Pearl Harbor was the home port and still is uh, of the finest Navy in the world. I think that the reason that they want their ashes scattered in the harbor, in Pearl Harbor in particular, is because they're shipmates. Their brothers in arms were killed that day. The ocean does draw people, and it's like family. I want to be with family when they go. So this year's 70th is vitally important, not only to the survivors, but also to their families. So the families are the ones that really should attend that ceremony also, so they can carry on the, the legacy of their loved ones who served. It is a big deal, and unfortunately, uh, it's going to be the last visit for an awful, awful lot of Pearl Harbor survivors that are coming for the event. Uh, most of them now are unable to travel because of their physical condition, um, and it's going to be it's going to be kind of a sad event for me simply because I won't see these guys again uh, alive. I'll see them when their families bring them here, but I'll make it through it. And uh, I do know that when I'm, I'm hoping and I'm praying that I can stay healthy enough to keep on doing this until they're all gone.